And we have online with us Tina Traster of the Rockland County Business Journal. Good morning. Good morning, everybody in Rockland land. Hope everybody had a happy and safe, socially distanced just July 4th weekend. <laughs> um, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, as I remember, yeah. <laughs> it seems so long ago. Um, so prior to the weekend, the um, village of South Nyack um, held a, a press conference, well, hold a, held a teleconference, I should say. Um, in fact, they tried a Zoom meeting, and, and that went off the rails, so they had to reschedule that. Anyway, they held a, a special tele, teleconference to say that they were going to be <coughs> hiring outside counsel to assist in the matters related to the sale of the college and to engage an appraisal company for portions of the campus. And what's interesting is the portions of the campus that they're having appraised are really just limited to three lots and blocks um, uh, in and around the, um, the, the gymnasium. So I think the village is looking at um, some, some vacant land and, and possibly the, uh, the, the sports center there to appraise and possibly take by um, eminent domain or condemnation, which is what it is. Um, you know, I don't know if that will happen, um, but they are, they've engaged a, a firm uh, to, to uh, look at these, at these three lots uh, for about $8,000. Um, and I don't know if in any material way it affects um, the, the plans uh, of the yeshiva to move forward. Um, I did speak with a source during the week who seemed to say that um, it was not a done deal yet, um, that the yeshiva has in mind what they're looking for is something just like the uh, college, Nyack College, in that they're looking for like a secluded campus and um, there aren't that many parcels of that nature here in the county. Um, but from what I have heard from, from an inside source is that it, it's, uh, the ink is, is not on the page yet in, in terms of, of a contract. But we're going to be watching that story, and um, we're also going to be uh, tracking whatever it is that the village of South Nyack does from here on out in terms of um, legal counsel and appraisal of, of those uh, three pieces of land um, to see. I, I assume that they're probably eyeing that for some sort of a, um, a sports uh, or, or recreation or swimming pool uh, a kind of facility, which um, the village of, of South Nyack actually desperately needs. Um, you know, if that were to be carved off, uh, would it matter, uh, you know, for the, the potential buyer? Um, this, is, this is what all remains to be seen. One, one interesting side note is that in the appraiser's uh, document, uh, agreement, um, it does say that if the village has um, any knowledge of, of the contract that... Um, that they need to share that with the appraiser. Um, if you take Bonnie Christian at her word, uh, she and, and the attorney there claim to um, not have any specific information. Um, that might be true. I don't know if it was true the first time around. I know the, in, in the previous deal, I know that she had some inkling of, of who was looking at it. Um, but it, it might be true that, that they, they have not seen the details. Um, in the meantime, um, behind the scenes, uh, I know that um, uh, town supervisors like uh, Teresa Kenny and, and uh, County Executive Ed Day um, are all getting involved at, in, in meetings o over this issue and, and sitting at tables and, I guess, um, you know, putting in their two cents. So bottom line here is that um, a, a lot of, uh, you know, this is a story that, that, that there's a lot of concern about what, what is going to happen going forward. Um, 
But I was going to pivot now and talk about how tomorrow we are supposed to be entering into phase four. Um, and um, this will, uh, you would think that since there are only four phases, that this would include the rest of the businesses that are closed. Um, but we did a story, um, kind of a, an up close and personal story, about a company called Retro Fitness Gym, um, and that is a uh, they're a franchise that has two locations, one in Pearl River and one in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, they're owned by the Zisman brothers, and um, they explained and we reported that they don't have a date yet. Uh, for reopening um, because they're a, they're a gym. And there are still some businesses that seem to be outside of the deadline of, of, uh, of phase four. Um, and they told us um, what it's been like these last four months and how they've not had, quote, a single dollar of revenue, um, you know, and what it's been like to, um, you know, maintain two 25,000 square foot spaces uh, while trying to negotiate with the landlord over, over rent, um, you know, while continuing to have to pay, um, you know, insurance and water and electricity. Um, and um, where they did, where they have had a break is that being a franchise, they, the, the franchisor has at least um, uh, given them a, a break from their franchise fees, which is, is some small consolation. But the, the point here is that, you know, here's a business that um, is run by, by t uh, two brothers who, uh, who spent 35 years in the construction business, and, you know, they have enough of a cushion to, to I guess, to wait this thing out. But what they conveyed in the story, and it's, it's an interesting read. I, I would, I'd recommend, you know, people take a read because it's, it's very, you know, up close and personal. It, it, it's, it's kind of a, uh, can they run the clock out? I mean, can they keep um, maintaining this situation, um, <clears throat> you know, while we're struggling with the coronavirus, while, you know, we're starting to see these uh, little um, hot spots or surges in, in some states, so it's, it's, it's all just very, it's not a straight path up or forward. It's, it's kind of um, a, a, a two steps forward, one step backward. And for a company like this, it, there's still a lot of uncertainty. So it is, I think it's an interesting story. I, I recommend people jump on and, and have a read. A lot of uh, business people, whether they're owners or uh, you know, they run the enterprise from, from a parent company or fed up with, with the way in which this is parceled out as to who can open and who can't. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it, it does, uh, sometimes it does feel like that there's a, a plan and sometimes it just feels willy-nilly. Um, you know, I know that, that, that these brothers are, are these, these owners, gym owners, are, are very, um, it, it's what, what's conveyed in the story the most is it's just the not knowing. It's mm -hmm. just to not have that date on the calendar to say, okay, we understand we need to be closed until this particular date. And, I mean, I guess, you know, it, it's on a much bigger scale. The same thing is going on at the Palisades Center. I, I think it's only partially open still. And, um, uh, and I mean, uh, it's understandable. This this virus is absolutely frightening, you know. And you you look at what's going on, and I think yesterday Florida had what is it? Uh, was it ten thousand cases, new cases in in one day? That's the greatest spike that they've had yet. Yep. You know, so it's um, it, it's you know, it, it, it you can't just you know, it's it's this, this is not politicized. I think it, you can't just point. To uh, to to um, you can't the, 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 well I, I don't know the, the, we do I, I mean I, I think I do think that we should have had a national strategy and it's, it's just too late for that so it you know this is this is the collateral damage we're seeing it and I, I you know by reporting like I say by reporting it through the lens of one company and to see how it looks. For, for, you know, the trajectory of one company, what they've built, how they built it, 
where they were at before this happened and now the uncertainty going forward, you know, it kind of says more than just throwing stats around. It just it's, it humanizes this this problem. So, um, well, yeah. If you have, you know, you say if you want to read more about these things and your uh, service is updated frequently because it's. Uh, not under the constraints of, of, of a, you know, the paper being delivered to you every week. Uh, you onli go online, and it's there. What's on this morning might be different this afternoon. That's right, rcbizjournal.com. rcbiz, V-I-Z, journal.com. All right, Tina, thanks. Have a great week. Thank you.